What's up, YouTube? Um, real good day today. As you can see, I've got two boxes here. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I've got a lower one, smaller one rather, and a bigger one. Uh, I'm going to get into the bigger one first. And just to tell you, um, if you guys saw my last video, these are both the pickups I was talking about. Like I said, the one goes with my black and white Nike Elite socks that I bought, and the other you'll see in a little bit. I'm sure you're already going to know by the title of the video, but just stay tuned and you'll see it. So, let's get into this. And that big box I showed you guys is two of the same pair, just for me and my brother. We both ordered a pair because they're the same size and we decided to give the same color. So, um, real quick, it was from East Bay, so you can see the paper came with a little athletic resource thing and a bunch of information. I don't really know, but um, let's get into the shoe. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Uh, they're both the they should be both the exact same, but uh, let's just make sure. So, yep, they are both Nike Hyperfuse 2011. Uh, white, black, and same thing over here. Hyperfuse 2011, white, black. So we'll go into the pair on the right. Uh, these are really nice in person. I, I was kind of controversial uh, on pictures on the internet, but I'm very glad I got these. As you can see, they are very nice. Um, I really do like the black outsole. That's something that is very nice. Uh, I have the Russell Westbrook PE of these, and I do actually like this outsole better because the clear one just gets yellow, and this is nice. Got that nice glossy Nike swoosh, the black mesh with the white, like, synthetic upper. Real nice. It's got white laces, uh, black hyperfuse on the tongue, as you can see there. Uh, still factory laced, which is cool. So, as you can see there, still factory laced. I mean, at least I would hope that it was factory lace coming brand new from the store. And then what's really cool, which I never looked at on my old ones just because I wore them before I even really had a chance to look, is the insole. You can see the design on it. Right there. It's a really cool design. But, um, so that's that. Both of the pairs are the same. And then I'll take out the second shoe to show you believe me there's both of them but I'm gonna move those aside and we'll get into the big picture here which is the third pair of shoes so here's the box I'm gonna cut this open there we go A little slicing and dicing not special with the uh, knife but now to open a box so let's see got the Nike paper whatever blah 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 um okay and then the inside you can see it's a familiar box we got the Kobe 7 box but let's just and then it came with two air pockets so they don't get damaged which is nice of Nike and don't get me wrong, both Nike and East Bay ship very, very nice. Alright, so here's the moment we've all been waiting for. We've got the Nike 7 box. Kobe, uh, I mean, uh, not Nike 7, Kobe 7. As you can see here, Kobe 7, black, court purple, turquoise blue. Suggested retail 140, and that is what I paid for them. Just to open this up. Oh my god, they're unreal. Absolutely unreal in person. Okay, so. Wow. Wow, that's incredibly unreal. So I'm just going to move this back. As you can see, here are the invisibility cloaks. And for you guys, I know it's going to be hard to see, but for me right now, it looks green on, perp on camera. It just looks purple. But uh, it really does change colors. Um, I know it's not really picking up well. See, it goes from green to blue on camera, but... In uh, real life, it's going from purple to green, which is absolutely awesome. 
Um, you've got the bright, like, salmon color, I think people have been calling it, on the tongue. Play fast insole in that salmon color. And then you can see a little bit of it through the ventilation parts in the heel. Just overall, really dope, clean shoe. Herringbone in black, and then the triangle pattern, very icy. Uh, there is one problem I've noticed already. Nothing too, like, specific. Just, um, if you can see, yeah, you can't even see it. There's a very, very little bit of glue right there. You might actually be able to see that. And then I know you can't really tell, but there's already a little bit of yellowing going down here through the sole. I don't know if that has to do with Nike's gluing or this was the original pair. I'm not sure because the only thing I can think of is if they're old already. But you really can't tell unless you get up close. So it's not a big deal. But um, <clears throat> just wanted to say, guys, really uh, appreciate watching this video. I know it's a long one, but two sick pickups today. So I just want to say thanks. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll be doing more videos soon. Peace out.